Hey there, Tony with Foggy One Gaming, coming at you with a quick episode on how to deal with the Pantheon bots. That's right, these big bad boys right up there. The Ares, the Hades, and the Nemesis. They've all got some Achilles heels to them. They've all got weaknesses that can be exploited. And I am going to talk really quick and point out some basic, I mean some very basic principles that you can apply to your gameplay that will allow you to go after these bots and be effective out on the battlefield. Okay, before we get into some action clips, I'm just going to show you guys windows of vulnerability. And we're gonna start off here with the Nemesis. The Nemesis has one of the shortest turnarounds out there and it has a very narrow opportunity, a window of vulnerability when its shield is down. And I'm gonna hit the button up here, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, you will see up in the corner, it'll go purple bar, and you can see I am invulnerable unless you get inside the shield. And you see I have eight seconds. That's my eight second window of vulnerability. That is where you need to make your move. You gotta be patient and observant on the battlefield. Get inside that shield during that period of time, or hit them from a distance when the shield is down. But Eight seconds is its window of vulnerability unless you catch it surprised. Okay, let's change bots here. Let's hop over here and take a uh, look at the Ares. The Ares has actually a bigger window of opportunity, a bigger window of vulnerability. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna get myself lined up here and we're just going to uh, unleash on this uh, building here. And you can see, boom, I'm in my invulnerable shield. You can't see it because I have no one firing on me. But you can see I get my time up, I got four seconds of firing, and now there's a 16 second window of vulnerability. This is the time frame where you can hit them from a distance or you can make your approach and get inside uh, their shields or do your dog pack tactics. This is probably uh, one of the most vulnerable bots when it comes to using its window of vulnerability. So definitely, definitely be observant of this bot. Once you see the blue goo firing, you know its window is coming up very, very soon. Okay, let's hop into the last bot here. Let's hop into the Hades. And I'm gonna show you guys its window of vulnerability. You got the eight second on the Nemesis, 16 second window of vulnerability on the Ares, and here we go. We're in, we're firing off, and boom, boom, boom. Uh, you know, I've got a pretty nice firing and invulnerable period here. And then 11 seconds, or 12 seconds roughly, of window of vulnerability, an open opportunity to make your move. Because when these guys are in this mode, in their window of vulnerability, they're not super fast, they can't jump away, they can't throw their stealth on, they are nothing more than a Natasha sitting there to be hit. A little bit quicker than a Natasha, but you get my drift. It can't really run away from you, it can't conceal itself, and it is a sitting duck. So, you know, this is the moments right here where you see the uh, purple bar going up there and it's got its invulnerable shield going. That is when this bot is, you know, you're not going to get it unless you get inside its shield. Now, just wait for that window of vulnerability and that's when you make your move. Alrighty, we're gonna hop into a game here and I'm going to discuss active and passive style principles that are going to be useful for, uh, you know, getting in and uh, going after, uh, you know, these Pantheon bots. And I'm actually gonna be playing the Pantheon bots. I'm gonna kind of flip the role here. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna point out principles as the enemies take me down while I am playing the Ares, the Nemesis, and the Hades. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into some gameplay here. And I'm going to point out some basic principles that the other team is going to actually showcase for me because these are skills that most of you have already. All right, this will be a great one. Uh, free for all, we are out here on the carrier map. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna start off with the Nemesis. And this is a pounder. I mean, it is. It, these are tough bots, guys. They truly, truly are. But uh, let's go ahead and move. And in free for all, you kind of get tested because everyone out here is trying to use their best tactics and principles to take a bot down. See, I got several bots here. I got uh, you know one off to my right, one off to my left. I'm going to commit to the right hand side here. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to uh, deploy my ability. And you can see there is something that a bot with stealth can do. They can use their stealth capability to get themselves lined up and protected. That is something, that is an active skill, using your, uh, you know, your ability to uh, protect yourself. But it didn't work so great for him. But here comes an ambush from the uh, Mercury up there. 
that is something that uh, you can practice out on the battlefield, which is patience. Watch, because people, when you see the invulnerable shield go off, you know that in a very short period of time, that bot will be in its window of vulnerability. And we discussed that a little bit ago. And that's what that Mercury did. He capitalized on my window of invulnerability. Or excuse me, my, my window of vulnerability. Okay, I got a bot behind me here. And I'm going to do, I'm just gonna kind of scope it out here. Uh, but definitely, you know, active, you know, here we go. I'm going into uh, my invulnerable mode. I'm gonna pound away on things. I'm gonna have a window of vulnerability here in a second. And uh, I'm gonna back up here. I'm gonna try to use concealment and cover to make up for the fact that, you know, my invulnerable shield is now down. And I'm actually gonna get myself kind of caught in a crossfire situation here. I've got a bot to my right and to my left. And uh, I'm going to, I'm gonna try to pound on these guys the best I can. But these guys here aren't going after each other. They are seeing me, they know what I am, and they are practicing patience. They are going to use each other as diversions and they're gonna keep hammering on me soon as uh, my window of vulnerability opens up. And uh, you see the Scourge equipped bot over there, he was actually hitting me when my shield was up and that's kind of a waste. But he knew to sit there and wait and he's being patient. He isn't overly aggressively coming at me. And here comes a uh, the Lancelot. Enemy number two is spawning right there. And he is also now using corner shooting and good tactics. I'm gonna throw up my shield because I'm in kind of a precarious situation. I'm gonna focus on getting this uh, Bulgasari taken down. And this bot here is being patient. He's waiting for his moment to see my window of vulnerability. And now he comes in with a Lancelot and takes me down. So windows of vulnerability and patience. Those are two big elements that I like to you know, preach about being able to take down these Pantheon bots. Okay, I'm gonna come out here now with the Hades, with uh, Shredders and Vipers. I've got these all really, really solidly equipped. And uh, to get taken down, bots are going to have to practice good tactics. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna round the top here. I got a bot over here, and I'm gonna show you what a common error. Look for player errors. I'm gonna round the corner here, and I'm gonna come out onto the top here. I'm gonna throw my shield up like I would if I were running like a like I bulwark or something. And here we go, I got a bot in front of me, I'm gonna hammer on him, I've got my shield up. Now I am open, this bot enemy four has been waiting for that to come off. He comes up, he's very damaged, but he takes me down because he was patient and he waited for my window of vulnerability and for me to make a crucial player error, which is going out into a open area where I could get caught in a crossfire. Let's uh, hop back into uh, our, uh, our our Pantheon bots here. And we're gonna come back out with the Ares because this is probably the most popular of uh, you know the uh, Pantheon bots. It's the most aggressive, but like I said uh, at the very beginning, has the biggest window of vulnerability. And now I'm just, I'm playing this, I put the shield out. I was trying to get in range, go down there and just pound on it. I was making a, you know, a concerted effort to try to get him first. And that was a crucial error. That bot right there got up close and into my grill. Even if I had my shield up, that bot right there, enemy number five, just did an active style uh, practice, which is going to be really, really good against uh, Pantheon bots, brawling. That's right, get right up into the grill of those bots. If you've got the firepower, get up inside the shield. And that can be done in several ways, with stealth, by ambush, or by speed. Uh, or you can even leap into it like a hell dive from the Mercury. But get right up into the grill because once you're inside the shield, even if it's deployed, you are going to be wrecking on that bot. And that is one of the secrets to success against uh, running up against a, a multitude of these bots out on the field. Okay, here we go, hit spot. Uh, he's gonna pound on me a bit. And there you can see, he gets right inside my shield and he's just pounding on me. I'm able to take him down. Uh, I actually have to kind of panic there, but he was had the right principle, get right inside my grill, right inside the shield. And then this bot here just waited for my window of vulnerability, jumped down and got me. Okay, I think we're gonna run one more Pantheon bot here and then uh, I'm going to uh, cut this out as far as uh, the gameplay goes. And then we're gonna close this out with a little tactical discussion and uh, we'll wrap this special episode up for you guys. Okay, we're uh, just working down the field again and this is the uh, Ares. And you can see it's not super fast. And here we go, Mercury. He's gonna come down, boom, inside the shield. 
uh, does some damage, and now he's brawling on me. I'm going to wait for his stealth to wear off, and that's when his window of opportunity opens up, his window of vulnerability. But, uh, you know, he had the right principle. Hop in, get inside the shield. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be a wrap on my uh, special episode about dealing with the Pantheon bots. If you walk away from this episode with anything stuck in your head, make sure it's windows of vulnerability. Look for those moments when these bots are at their weakest, which is when that shield is down and they're done firing. At that point, you could have at them and you can tear them to pieces. They are not indestructible, guys. Uh, they are fun to play, and yes, they are some interestingly tactically strong bots out on the battlefield, but not invulnerable. Alrighty, guys, uh, it's time to bail out of here, so uh, I hope you guys uh, like this. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe uh, this channel that it's appearing on. This is appearing on the uh, War Robots channel, and uh, come on over to my channel, Foggy One Gaming, and uh, check things out there as well. And uh, you know, if you like things there, subscribe, and uh, hey, uh, join in the conversation over there. Alrighty, guys, it's time to bail out of here. I hope you guys have a great one. This is Tony with Foggy One Gaming, and remember, keep your bots on the field, and I'll catch you on the server sometime.